Okay, so welcome back to another five minute stretching session. This is going to be for lightning crotch. So we are talking month five in pregnancy when you're having lightning crotch, pubic surfaces dysfunction, SPD, whatever you want to call it. What that means is that the front part of your pelvis is opening outward. So all those muscles on the inner thigh are attaching into that pelvis and contributing to that soreness. So here's how we're going to tackle it. First, get on the floor with me. If you are pregnant, you can put some wedges in front of you, you can stack some pillows, you could also use a weight or something like that to hold on to, or if you don't have any of that, just sit in a nice wide V stance. So again, we're going to be stretching the inner thighs here, your adductor, mus adductor muscle group. So all I want you to do is just lean forward. Like I said, you can stack up some pillows in front if it's easier, but all you have to do is lean forward with your chest, and you should get a really nice pull on that inner thigh. Again, these muscles are attaching into that pubic bone so it can help relieve that lightning crotch. You can certainly hang out here as long as feels good. I wanna make sure that your toes are up towards the sky and you can walk your hands forward for an even deeper stretch. Nice thing about this is there's lots of room for belly to drape and be forward, keeping those toes flexed. Walk your fingertips just a little bit further. And if this is feeling good, you can stay here for a little longer than what I'm going to when we're here today together but a really easy stretch to help with that pubic bone pain, again, around month five during pregnancy. You can certainly experience this sooner and you can experience this later in your pregnancy as well. Beautiful. So if this is feeling good, you can stay here longer, but for now, that's all I'm gonna do. Okay, next is gonna be a little bit more specific to each side. So I'm gonna be on my left leg first. My body is supported with my knee. My right knee is extended. My toes are up towards the sky. And all I'm gonna do is rock my weight forward and backward. You can take a minute here and pause it wherever it feels good for you, but I'm stretching that inner part of my thigh on that right leg. Try not to sit down on your heel, then you'll lose the stretch. You really wanna be upward. This might be a little bit easier on the knees too, for those of us that have some knee things going on. So really lean forward, sink into it. Again, helping with that lightning crotch, helping with that SPD, opening up that pelvis. And you can add as much or a little movement as you need to feel good here. If it's feeling good for you, stay there a little longer. I'm gonna switch sides. So now my right knee is planted, my left leg is extended, my toes are pointing upwards towards the ceiling, and I'm just sinking in with my hip, rocking a little bit more forward and a little bit more backward. Again, stretching out that inner thigh on that left side now in my case. If this is feeling good for you, please stay here as long as you can, as long as you want to. Beautiful. And the nice thing about this is you can do it anywhere. On the floor, with your children, right before bed, at the office even. Toes are towards the sky. So stay there as long as you need. Next up, I'm going to do this on my ball, but you can certainly sit on a chair, a computer office chair, your kitchen table, whatever feels good to you. Number one is gonna be just actually being on the ball in general. So my hips are, and my knees are about hip width apart, a little wider. I'm gonna focus on bringing my belly button towards the floor for an anterior pelvic tilt. Even just doing a couple of these motions can help get some movement, relieving some of that lightning crotch. You can even do figure eights with me here, whatever's feeling good to you in the moment. Move that pelvis around side to side, figure eight motion and then anterior and forward as well. More specific to that crotch bone in the front, I'm gonna use a Pilates ball, but you can use whatever you have at home. If you don't have one, you could use your fist. You could also use a pillow, a kid's toy, whatever you have, a Tupperware container works nice too, something with some give. You're gonna plant it in between your knees, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze my knees together. So I'm gonna activate my muscle group on those inner thigh muscles, again, which are inserting to that pubic bone, squeezing my knees together, squeezing that ball, squeeze, 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 and then relax. The idea here is to activate these muscles to then relieve the pressure in that pubic bone in the front, relieving your lightning crotch. So we're gonna do a couple here together. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Activate, 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 activate. Three to five seconds at a time, and then release. If you're having lightning crotch, this might aggravate it a little bit. Make sure you're not pushing yourself through, but activate the muscle groups as much as you can. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Especially in the moment, this can be a really easy way to relieve some of that pain. Just to show you, if you don't have the ball, your fists work just as well. Put your fists between your knees. And again, you're gonna squeeze your knees together right at the tip. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Activate, activate, activate. Hold, 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 hold. And then relax. 
box. And you can do this for as long as it's feeling good to you. I recommend at least three or four times through. One more here together, squeeze, 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 squeeze. I'm using a good amount of pressure too. I'm not trying to hurt myself, but I'm giving myself a good amount of, of squeeze. And then relax. Okay, lastly, more into the adductors. This is called adductor stripping. So if you're in your month five of pregnancy, it's important to note that this is a technique you're not wanting to do all the time because it also is involved for labor prep. But for those tight muscles on those inner thighs, you can use a roller. If you don't have something like this, you can use a baking roller, something you would make cookies with, or even the inside of your hand works well too. You're gonna to start at your knee and we're gonna roll in towards the heart. So using my roller, here I am on the inner thigh. Firm pressure, this is going to be tender and or it's going to be ticklish. But I want you to roll from the inner thigh up into the heart, bringing that blood flow back and we're helping to relax these muscles on those inner thigh muscle groups. Like I said, this could be tender, but it's effective because of where these muscles are inserting on that pubic bone. So a couple more passes here. Be careful with this because you can certainly overdo it and cause a little bit of bruising if you're not being too nice to yourself, but you want to be a little firm. Same thing other side, starting from the knee, working in, rolling out those inner thigh muscles. This is nice because it's easy to do on your own. Like I said, if you don't have a roller, you can use your hand. You could also use a baking roller that you would make cookies with. This is feeling good to you, stay here a little longer, but this is a little bit more of a deeper option. Okay, thanks for following along, you guys.